the x-ray of a patient uh, who has tested positive for uh, influenza A and is in severe ARDS. The CT scan has confirmed the same. Uh, here we elaborate the use of a high flow nasal cannula in this patient as a, a substitute for uh, an IV support. Uh, this is a pure hypoxic respiratory failure because of viral pneumonia. The patient was uh, uh, earlier on an IV support. Uh, here we have used this high flow nasal cannula and the patient is breathing comfortably. Uh, otherwise, she was de uh, desaturating to around 70 to 80 percent saturation on a traditional nasal cannula. Uh, this one uh, provides a high flow uh, rate. Otherwise, used with the air oxygen blender, but here we have used uh, the this uh, venturi mask as a substitute for air oxygen blender and the active heated humidifier with the face mask setting. You can see this uh, temperature setting for a face mask. Face mask. Otherwise, uh, uh, we have set oxygen flow rate to 15 liter per minute. You can see uh, this. Uh, this one is uh, OptiFlow, and the patient is breathing comfortably and uh, saturating well at 93 percent. Uh, this one is uh, high flow nasal cannula. You can see it. On the traditional nasal cannula, uh, the patient was desaturating to 70 to 80 percent with same flow rates. So basically, high flow nasal cannula provides uh, humidification. Also, uh, it permits constant oxygen delivery even with high respiratory flows from intense respiratory efforts. Also, there is a nasopharyngeal dead space washout which decreases.